Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I made a Five Nights at Freddy's playset. To start, I used a large plastic container. Because for this project, I really wanted it to be sturdier than cardboard. I also wanted it to be large enough for my F and AF characters and my 11 and 12 inch size dolls. For the walls, I used this gray brick fabric. And I applied it using an Elmer's Extreme Glue Stick. And just like that, the fabric is glued in place. I like using fabric instead of paper whenever I can because there's a large variety of patterns and you're not limited by a certain size. So you won't have as many seams and sometimes it's a lot easier to apply. I created a simple checker pattern on my computer, printed it out, and I'm going to use that for the border around the wall. Then I glued black fabric underneath. For the floor, I made a larger checker pattern, printed several pieces of paper out, then I glued the pieces to the bottom of the container. I used the top of a shoebox for the stage and this really cool fabric that has a hardwood floor pattern printed on it. Using the glue stick again, I attached the fabric to the box. Then I wrapped it around, kind of like a present. For the stage curtains, I used black confetti fabric. I kind of cheated and didn't sew it this time. Instead, I used thin strips of iron-on adhesive called Wonder Under by Pellin. Then I slid the curtain on a square wooden dowel. and I hot glued it behind the stage. I used the same method to make side curtains out of this black glittery fabric, but I used less fabric and smaller wooden dowels. To make doors, I used this black scratched up patterned scrapbook paper. I cut out a large rectangle and then I used a black pin to draw on handles and a line down the center for a separation for the doors. After that, I glued on white paper for the windows. Next, I added some Freddy Fazbear wall art. For streamers, I used star necklaces and cut them down to the size I needed. Then I hot glued them to the walls. Then I thought it would be fun to add some colorful ribbons too. I found this really cool gumball machine over at Dollar Tree that I'm going to use for a prize machine. I filled it up with tiny figures to make it look like there's tons of prizes inside. And that's it. I decorated it with my Five Nights at Freddy's figures, some furniture, and some customers, and I have a Five Nights at Freddy's playset. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, and now on to our next project. Hi everyone, today we're going to turn Tigger the Tsum Tsum into Freddy Fazbear from Five Nights at Freddy's. The first thing we're going to do is use moldable plastic and make his top hat. This is really easy because it's just a cylinder and then a flat disc shape. Then we'll just glue it on his head. Next, we'll use an X-Acto knife to remove the tail because Freddy Fazbear doesn't have a long tail like Tigger. Then, using multi-surface acrylic paint, we're going to paint the whole Tsum Tsum brown.
We'll paint his nose, eyebrows, and top hat black. Then we'll use a darker brown to kind of give him some dimension and make him look a little bit messy. We'll use blue for his eyes. Then we'll outline them in white and black. As you can see, I'm giving him kind of cartoonish eyes. Then we'll give him black pupils and a white smiling mouth. And that's it! Now we have a custom Tsum Tsum that looks like Freddy Fazbear from Five Nights at Freddy's. And now we're going to open up a whole case of Five Nights at Freddy's Funko Pop blind boxes. I hope I get every character, but you're just going to have to watch and see.
Okay guys, that's all for now. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe, make sure to comment and like this video, and I'll see you next time.